Hi, my name is Chris Florio, nurse practitioner student with Mary Lilly University. Today we're going to be doing an assessment of the patient's heart and respiratory system. So the first thing we're going to do is inspect the patient's um, color, symmetry, and she has nice color. She's very symmetrical. We're going to inspect the trachea, its midline, the substernal notch, the um, costal angle right here okay and that seems to be normal we're also gonna palpate the angle of Lewis which looks very good and then coming back here we're going to visualize and palpate C7 and T1 while we're back here I'm gonna ask the patient to put her arms over her shoulders and across that manner and then I'm going to ask her to take I'm going to squeeze my put my thumbs in and I'm going to ask her to take a big inhalation in and this is how we're going to measure the thoracic expansion which is very even and normal all right so now we're going to inspect for crepitus so I'm just going to palpate with my fingertips and hand and feel for any crepitus. Reach under your shirt here. Just want to a look. And right here. Okay, very good. All right, now I'm going to ask you, we're going to do tactile fremitus. I'm going to ask you to say 99. 99. Again. 99. Again. 99. All right, one more time. Again. 99. Thank you. And then again. 99. Very good. 99. Very good. One more time. 99. Thank you very much. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to percuss her back here. And we want to hear a nice resonant sound. And the next thing we're going to do is, <clears throat> and I'm going under the shirt to percuss here, and I'm going to ask the patient to take a big inhalation in and hold it. And I'm listening for uh, a nice resonant sound, and when it gets to dull, I'm going to mark that area. Okay, you can breathe out, and I've marked that area. Take a normal breath. And then on your next breath, I want you to exhale and hold that in. Okay? And she has a normal diaphragmic uh, excursion. Okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to palpate her lung fields. I mean, oscillate her lung fields. Sorry about that. When I put my stethoscope to your chest, just take deep breaths in and out for me. She has present air sa breath sounds, no abnormal adventitious sounds. Okay. You know, listen on the back. Deep breath in. Nope. Wheezing, ronchi, strider, all clear to oscillation. Everything looks normal in her respiratory system. The next thing I want to do is I want to check her vocal resonance. So as I use my stethoscope, I'm going to ask her to say 99. 99. Thank you. Again. 99. Okay. Thank you. Again. 99. And again. 99. All right. Thank you very much. And I did was able to oscillate her uh, up 99 with a muffled sound, so that's normal. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to inspect her heart. No, I'm going to go ahead and just palpate and see if I can feel a pulse through her chest, okay, 
right? And what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to lie on your left side in a lateral position so I can <coughs> get your precordial area. And what I'm feeling for is the point of maximum um, oscillation so I can do there's no heaves all right now I'm moving up to the sternal area left sternal area palpating right sternal area okay you can lay back and epigastric area all right now I'm going to get the uh, apical pulse and then I'm going to ask her to turn her uh, head to the left, please. And then I'm going to palpate her carotid. And those do coincide nicely. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to heart sounds. So I'm going to ask you to sit up and lean forward for me. And I'm going to oscillate all the valve sounds. So the first one I'm going to do is the aortic. And it's the right sternal border left intercostal space and I'm using the diaphragm you can breathe normally left sternal border second intercostal space the second pulmonic third sternal border left left sternal border third intercostal space Then I'm, if you could lean back just a little bit, let me get under your shirt here. And I can oscillate the tricuspids. There's no abnormal sounds. There's no clicking. There's no S2, S3 or S4. And then I'm going to go midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space for the mitral valve. I'm using the bell of my stethoscope. at the apex of the heart her rate and rhythm is normal and using a 10 second count I'm averaging her heart rate to be about 65 okay and then I'm going to ask you to lie supine for me And I'm going to listen to the heart one more time. Again, I'm listening right sternal border, second intercostal space, left sternal border, second intercostal space. left sternal border, third intercostal space. And if you don't mind, let me just get under your shirt here. And everything sounds good in that. No, no uh, presence of S3 or S4, no clicks and no murmurs. So if you want, please sit up. That concludes my in, uh, assessment of the patient's respiratory system and heart. Thank you very much.